Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to stream real-time mocap data into Notch. To begin, we need a human IK rig. We can locate a sample rig at Mixamo.com. To download a character, choose the FBX file format with the T-Pose included. In Notch, create a blank project, name the new layer to your preference. Click OK. Let's import our character. Navigate to the Resources panel, go to Import Resources, 3D, FBX Scene, Select and load your downloaded character. In the Import Object Scene window, change the scene scale to 0 0.01. Then deselect Convert Axis. Click and drag the file from the Resources panel and drop it into the Node Graph. Attach the root output to the imported 3D scene node. Our character should now be visible in our 3D scene. Let's add the Perception on Mocap Skeleton node to the Node Graph. Click and drag the node to the node graph, then connect the root output to the perception round mocap skeleton node. We'll need to configure the attributes information correctly, for example, the server address and a server port. In Access Studio, let's open a mocap file to set up the data stream. We'll use a capture included in the sample project. Once the file is open, navigate to the main menu, settings, select BVH Broadcasting. To enable a data stream, toggle the button to the right. Use BVH captures to stream data from an active connected hardware or use BVH edit to enable a recorded motion capture file. We'll use a BVH edit for this video. Select Access Studio thumb open, enable displacement, select TCP for the protocol option. Under the local address, select your computer's IP to host the data throughout the network or select 127.0.0.1 for local hosts. Copy the port number, hit OK. Play the animation and enable the loop playback. Back in Notch, update the settings in the Perception Realm mocap skeleton node, paste the server port number. Expand the imported 3D C node. Select the character's root bone and connect the output to the hierarchy root of the Perception Realm mocap skeleton node. Click play and your mocap data is now streaming live onto your character. And that's it for this tutorial. See you next time.